Welcome to my channel Art Saga and to the video series called Mini Series. Today we will be learning about stair annotation. These annotations will help you in working drawings, submission drawings and to show all the data of stairs. Before we start, please like and subscribe this video and the channel so it will help me to make more video for you guys. So let's start. So whenever you draw stair, you will find up and down arrows. I will just show you an example. This is stair and I'm just drawing it. I'll say finish and now I can see then up annotation with then up arrow. I will just delete it and come back to this stair. Now if I accidentally delete it and now I want it back and I don't have an option to undo it also. So what I'll do, I'll just go to annotate tab and find the symbol for stair path under these command symbols and I'll click it here I'll just simply click on my staircase and I can see my up arrow I'll just adjust it for good presentation and now I can see my up annotation with an up arrow is visible on my view now if I go to first floor level I can again see the down arrow here now coming back to plinth view, if I don't want to show this up symbol or up text, what I can do, I can select the arrow and go to property section tab and I can control the settings from here. Now I don't want the text, I can just untick it and I will not see my text here. I will just control Z it and now we are back. Now if you want to control more settings about stair and control what should be visible on a sheet or a view you can go to visibility graphics you can find visibility graphics in view and you can find it under the graphics sections called visibility graphics so the shortcut for this command is vv or vg so you can press these commands on the keyboard and this tab will open now this will show you model and annotation categories and subcategories for every element on the view now if I work on door, I can find door category here and also in annotation. So I can control what I want to see in and view. So now we want to see staircase. So I will just go to model categories. So these categories will change whatever I see on a model. So it would be a 3D element. I will scroll down and I will find for stairs. Now this is my category. Now if I drop down by pressing on the plus arrow. I can see the subcategories of stair. So I can control what I want to see. So the staircase is cut at this part. So now I want to control the nosing elements. So what I will do, I will just go to stairs, subcategories. I don't want to show nosing lines at the above of the staircase. So I will just untick it here, say apply and OK. Now the nosing lines from this element is hidden. Now similarly at the start of the staircase which is not cut in the plan I want to hide the nosing lines. So I'll just go here and untick the nosing lines. Again I'll say apply and ok. So I can see the nosing lines are hidden. So you can change whatever you want as per your project parameters. So you can tick and untick the elements whichever you want. Similarly, you can also change the annotation settings of the staircase. So I'll go to annotation category. I'll just go down and search for stair path. So basically model categories are for 3D element and annotation categories are for 2D element. Now annotation category consists of stair arrow, stair cut path and etc. So I'll go to stair path. So I'll just drop down. Now if I want my arrow from here till above. So I can select this element above up arrows and I'll say apply and OK. So my arrow extends till the top point of the staircase. Similarly, I can control more settings. I'll again go to my stair path, drop it down and let's say I don't want this up arrow. I'll say apply this up arrow is hidden. Similarly, I don't want this up text. I can do it. I can change it from here. Now if I want to change the cut mark of the staircase, 
I can simply click on stairs, go to its edit type and I'll just scroll down, I'll go for graphics and under this I can see a cut mark type. So this says single zigzag. So cut mark type is this, this zigzag line. Now if I want to change it to a double zigzag line, what I'll do, I'll just drop it down. Sorry, I'll just click it and a new tab will open. Now it says cut line type is a single zigzag line. I'll just change it to double line and I'll say OK. So when I say OK, the double zigzag line will apply for the every staircase of this type. So this is OK and we have a double zigzag line here. Now if I want to change the arrow types of the staircase. So what I'll do, I'll just tap tab on the arrow and now my arrow is selected. I will go to edit type and a type property will open. Now if I want a filled arrow, so what I'll do, I'll just go to arrow head type. I'll just drop down. I want a filled arrow. I'll say apply and now I have a filled arrow. Now if I want a full step arrow, what I'll do, I'll just click it, say apply and I have a full step arrow. Now there is one more annotation to staircase which, which we will learn in this video, which is numbering the stairs. So, what I'll do, I'll just go again to annotation and in annotation you can find tread numbers under the tag section. So I'll just click on the tread number, I'll just hover my mouse onto the staircase, I'll just select the point here and again select one point here. So now these are my riser numbers. So I can also change its settings. I can just click on this and property section tab. I can change the tag type from riser to let's say tracks so it will be same if I want a dis uh, display rule so let's say I want some start and end number so it will just say start and end number of the stair flight so I can control it where the number should be on my staircase so right now it is on the right quarter the right side of the staircase I want it in the center so it would be shifted on the center now let's say the justification is back. Now uh, let's say I want it on the front edge. So it will go from the front side of the staircase. So it will start from the bottom most part of the staircase. Now this is the orientation. So the text is horizontally aligned to the view. I will drop down and I can change it to vertical. So basically for this view horizontal is much better. And you can control the text type. So let's say I want it 1 mm so the text size is 1 mm now similarly you can also control the stair numbers on the other flight of the staircase so guys in today's video we learned about stair annotation please like and comment on this video and let me know if you have any queries and subscribe to my channel thank you